I got some fun cutouts for 24 hour crafts. I got some crows and some circle cutouts and I even got a Sasquatch or a Bigfoot. Hello my crafty loving friends, welcome to Purpose My Way, I'm Shelly. Today I've got this little window shelf that has a couple little hangers down underneath. I've had this in my stash for a while and I have been under the weather so I've been shopping my stash and just kind of cleaning out and trying to find some different stuff to redo. So this little guy is going to get a coat, actually two coats, of the uh, Waverly Black ink paint. Um, I just want a nice base coat on here for what I'm going to do over the top. Now once that's dry, I'm going to dry brush a little bit of this yellow paint that I created. I mixed up a bunch of different colors on a project I did uh, a few days ago and I want to use up some of this paint. So I just thought I would dry brush it over the top of this black and just make it pop. I think the yellow looks really nice against the black and it doesn't have to be full uh, full paint fully painted it's just going to be uh, dry brushed and if I went heavy-handed in any place that I didn't like I just took some sandpaper over it and sanded it down just a little bit to get it to come back through the black to come back through I wanted to show you guys how cool these uh, wood cutouts are from 24 hour crafts. I got a couple different sizes of crows that I want to do for some future projects that I have. And um, that I've got a couple thicknesses as well. You can vary your order however you wish as far as size and thickness. Uh, they have a lot to offer from 24 hour crafts i got these discs i got a two different thicknesses i got a really thick thick ones to put like on candle holders and risers and things like that i think they would look gr look great and work great for that um and then i got the thinner ones for something i want to do today and i got this sasquatch or bigfoot cut out this uh I thought would be really fun for my husband. He always loves watching those crazy shows. So I picked one of those up for him. But any information will be down in the dis in the description box. There'll be uh, a link down there along with a coupon code that you can use for 10% off. So I got this um, napkin from a package from Amazon and I'll put the link down in the description for that as well. It's really beautiful bees and uh, flowers with lilacs and uh, black eyed Susans I think or maybe sunflowers uh, and it just looks like it's been um, watercolored. It's just so pretty. So I took one of these cutouts from 24 hour crafts, one of the thinner circles and I'm going to be putting uh, a piece of this napkin on here. So I'm just going to decoupage with some Mod Podge onto this circle. And once I get it all on there, I'm just taking my brush and evening it out. And then once it's dry a little bit, I'm going to take some sandpaper and sand around the edges to give it a nice clean edge. And that comes off really nicely. Now I'm gonna age around the edges of this napkin with some of my antique wax. So I'm just taking a little brush and going just lightly around the edges. And then I'm gonna go back with a paper towel or a rag and I'm gonna wipe that back. So it has a little bit of a darker edge on it. Now once I go all the way around once and just give it a light, uh, just kind of a light halo of this antique wax. Then I'm gonna go back around again and make it a little bit bigger and a little bit darker. And then as I work in to the inside, I'm gonna just go lighter with it, but I just go around the edges and then wipe it back. Now I feel like I should have uh, waited on putting this on the back I should have put my little sign on the front first, but I have this black and tan material uh, and I wanted to put 
some Spanish moss on the back of my little sign that I'm going to put on the front. And I should have waited and done that first and then put this on because uh, it made it a little bit difficult to get it on there, but I figured it out. Uh, I could have ripped this off and started anew, but anyway. Um, so all I did was just cut a piece to cover up that window so that it looked like kind of like a curtain on the back of that. And uh, as you can see here, I think this looks really cute. So now I'm gonna take my little sign and or picture and I'm gonna put that in the front. Now this is where I wish I had waited uh, for the backing on the back of the window. Uh, see how I put the Spanish moss on there. I figured out how to do it, but it would have been easier if, easier if the cloth was not on the back and I could have just added it that way. And But I figured out a way to do it without tearing it all back apart. So I'm just going around the outside edge of the the little picture with some of the Spanish moss. I thought it would make it look nice and pop uh, the picture out a little bit. So I'm just gluing and then tucking it under there. I have my little finger caught on so that I don't burn my fingers, which I still do. <laughs> so um, then I cut up a piece of my uh, pit berries. I have some little yellow, buttery yellow pit berries and I cut those down so that I could put them around the outside edge of my little picture. I thought that would look really nice, make it pop almost like a little flower, I guess. Um, I don't know, I just thought it would look nice. So I went all around the outside and then that's all I did for this piece. I got this cute star from Cheryl over at Farmhouse Frugally. She sent me a box of goodies not too long ago, and I dug this out of the box, and I'm gonna use it today. So I'm taking my mustard-colored paint, and I'm giving it a good coat of that, and then I'm going to dry it up really nicely. And then once it's all dry, I'm gonna do a second coat. Now once this second coat goes on, while it's still wet, I'm going to take my grubby mix. I'll have a link down in the description on how I make this. Or you could use cinnamon if it's something that you want to do. But I want to grubby up this star a little bit. But I'm not going to use Mod Podge. I'm going to use the wet of the paint for it to stick. So I'm just sprinkling it on while this paint is still wet. And I'm doing it fairly thick. But you can still see the, the mustard colored paint through the the star and just tapping it off and then I'm going to take this clear rust-oleum spray I don't recommend you do this inside it does smell terrible I use just a little bit of it to get it to seal that uh, those spices onto the um, onto the star but it is a stinky thing so I should have done it outside really uh, so this little um, wooden thing i guess this used to be a silverware holder and i got it at the dump a long time ago and it was broken partially the little silverware holders were broken off so i finished taking them off the rest of the way and um i painted it all mustard color and then i painted over it with black and now uh and i had taken decoupage paper and put on the front and i hated it and i tucked it away and I haven't done anything with it for months and months and months and now I've decided that I want to do something with it so I pulled it out of my stash I added a little bit of Vaseline uh, I painted over the decoupage paper with black paint as you saw here I used Vaseline and went over the top of that just a little bit to get the resist that I needed for the mustard paint that I painted over the top of it which is where we are now. It has dried and now I'm wiping it off. And 
there's still a lot left on there. So I took my sandpaper and I went over it and distressed it even more heavier than what I had before. Uh, I thought that it was a little bit too defined on the edges and I like it to be a little less defined. You can kind of see straight lines here and there and I didn't really like that. So I um, sanded it down quite a bit and I love how it came out now. So now I'm just taking my antique wax and going over it and darkening up that mustard paint and I'm also sealing it a little bit. Uh, originally I had sealed it all and thought I was done with it but I just hated that decoupage paper in the middle of it. Number one, I got it on there crooked and you could barely see it and I just didn't like it. But um, then I decided I was going to try and put this star on the front and I think I really like how this came out. So I'm just putting the antique wax on and then pulling it back off so that it kind of darkens up that mustard paint. I added a little nail in the middle. As you can see here, just a little one for my little star to hang on. And so I'm just going to put him on the top there. And that's all I'm going to do to this piece. And then I'm just going to decorate it up. My daughter found these two cool, really uh, heavy star lights from a thrift store recently, and she picked them up for me. I don't even know. She paid a few bucks for them, but uh, they're definitely cast iron bottoms. The stars are cast iron, and they definitely work. As you can see here, I'm showing somebody put uh, different colored bulbs in there. Those came out and I sanded a little bit. There was a little bit of rust, which I don't want to get rid of, but I sanded it just a little bit to get the loose stuff off. And then I decided that I would grubby up the candlesticks to make them look like grubby candlesticks. Um, so I'm just adding some Mod Podge to these little cardboard covers and uh, just a nice layer. And then I'm going to take my grubby mix and just dump it over the top so that it sticks on there. And I love doing this with little lights like this because it just adds so much and it makes them look like real candles in a an electric candle holder. So I really like how this came out. So I did both of those the same way. I let them dry for about five or ten minutes and then uh, I take some more Mod Podge and I dab the Mod Podge over the top of the cinnamon. I don't brush until I get a good amount of Mod Podge on there. If you try to brush the um, the spices, it, they sometimes will pull off and then you'll have to reapply your spice mix. So I just wiped that on there and got them all coated and now they're drying really nicely and they I love how they dry so nice and dark. So now I have some silicone bulbs. I always keep a, a bunch on hand for purposes just like this and I'm going to stick them in there and make sure that they work and then I'm going to uh, dress up the bottom of these little stars to make them look a little bit more primitive. So they're both working really good. And then I take some uh, Spanish moss and some pit berries, and I'm gonna add those to the bottom of my little stars.
I hope you guys enjoyed my crafts from my stash today. I need to get a few things cleared up and I haven't been able to go uh, do any thrift shopping. So I'm just bringing out some stuff that I probably should have got done a long time ago. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have a favorite. And don't forget to go down and check out the links to the napkins that were on Amazon and the 24-hour crafts along with the coupon code for 10% off. They have lots of different cutouts and they also have metal signs that they can do. So make sure you go down and check it out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.